Recently I got this 2-in-1 uh, charger and tester from AliExpress. Uh, the main highlight of this device is its 2-in-1 uh, function. The first one is obvious, it is a usual 12V uh, battery charger. You can see here that there are multiple uh, charging options, uh, regular lead acid, car battery, AGM, gel, uh, motor pulse repair function which I covered in my other videos. Uh, the interesting uh, feature is here that it is supporting a LiPo4 uh, battery and that is why primarily I got it. The second feature in this charger is to test lead acid AGM gel battery for its uh, internal health, which is uh, directly tied to factor if battery is able to start the car. So by, by using that uh, feature, which I'm going to show you, the charger is able to, to charge the battery with uh, 12 volts, 6 amps. We're going to test right now uh, and see, we see uh, 5 amps and that is correct. Uh, we also have here a device measuring AC power and we see that it is drawing uh, uh, 6 amps on uh, 235 volts. Everything looks fine regarding this. I'm charging this uh, uh, lead acid battery. Charging did finish. You see the screen indicator. So regarding that, we are done. Here we see energy consumption. Um, by looking of this, uh, we see that uh, battery did accept around 0.5 kilowatts or around 500 watt hours, uh, which is a lot less than what battery can accept because this is uh, 12 volts, 110 amp hours. Uh, this is already telling me that this, this battery eh, wouldn't be able to start the car. Uh, the battery was heavily discharged to zero volts, so uh, sulfation is probably on the plates. Uh, I'm trying to keep it alive. We're gonna now do the test. When you disconnect the charger from the AC, it will immediately go in the second uh, mode, and that is uh, battery testing. Uh, here on the screen, you can see that uh, it is blinking car and motor. You, of course, want to go uh, and choose the car. After that you press enter and now you uh, choose the cranking power in amperage which is in this case uh, 520 amps and I already did choose that. You press the enter. So it is showing 62.1% uh, battery health and it is stating that it is good the charge level is 100 percent we see 13 volts uh, let's repeat the test and see what i'm gonna say the second time it is the same keep in mind this is resting voltage now for this battery because uh it was charged overnight and it stopped uh, stopped at some point also the charger charger is having all those modern technologies to keep the battery voltage on float you know all those fancy things um, i did test this uh, tester with some other known bad batteries and batteries and it was showing uh, bad uh, battery health in terms of price it is super cheap and considering the features uh, I will recommend it because even if this battery testing is, if it's not re reliable, and I cannot say that it is 100% reliable uh, or that it is not, uh, I can say that what it shows does have um, a logic, but regarding the cranking and starting of the car, you just can get some indication where are you. Uh, if we look how much energy this uh, battery accepted and what the uh, tester is showing, there is a logic behind that. 
This battery is at around half of its uh, nominal capacity and it is showing 62% 62, 62 of uh, battery health, so that is logical. Uh, I can recommend this battery charger because uh, you have a lot of features, a lot of charging modes. It is super cheap. Uh, the link is down below. You can check it out.